This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Friday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Hearing and Speaking the Word of God. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. This line is the conclusion to the story of Jesus healing a deaf man who also had a speech impediment. The man was brought to Jesus. Jesus took him off by himself and cried out, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And the man was cured. And though this was an incredible gift to this man and an act of great mercy toward him, it also reveals that God wants to use us to draw others to himself. On a natural level, we all lack the ability to hear the voice of God when he speaks. We need the gift of grace for this. As a result, on a natural level, we are also incapable of speaking the many truths that God wants us to speak. This story teaches us that God also desires to heal our ears so as to hear his gentle voice and to loosen our tongues so that we can become his mouthpiece. But this story is not only about God speaking to each one of us. It also reveals our duty to bring others to Christ who do not know him. The friends of this man brought him to Jesus. And Jesus took the man off by himself. This gives us insight into how we help others to come to know our Lord's voice. Oftentimes, when we want to share the gospel with another, we tend to talk to them and try to rationally convince them to turn their lives to Christ. And though this can bear good fruit at times, the real goal we must have is to help them to go off with our Lord by themselves for a while so that Jesus can do the healing. If your ears have truly been opened by our Lord, then your tongue will also be loosened. And only if your tongue is loosened will God be able to draw others to himself through you. Otherwise, your act of evangelizing will only be based on your effort alone. Therefore, if you have people in your life who do not appear to be listening to the voice of God and following His holy will, then first and foremost, commit yourself to listening to our Lord yourself. Let your ears hear Him. And when you do hear Him, it will be His voice that in turn speaks through you in the way He desires to reach out to others. Reflect today upon this gospel scene. Ponder especially the friends of this man as they are inspired to bring him to Jesus. Ask our Lord to use you in a similar way. Prayerfully ponder those in your life whom God wants to call to himself through your mediation and place yourself at the service of our Lord so that his voice can speak through you in the way he chooses. Let us pray. My good Jesus, please open my ears to hear all that you wish to say to me and please loosen my tongue so that I will become a mouthpiece of your holy word to others. I offer myself to you for your glory and pray that you will use me in accord with your holy will. Jesus, I fully trust in you.